Hello and good morning everybody. My name is Kevin and today is Sunday the 13th of September 2020. I hope you're all well and um, you know in good spirits for a Sunday. Um, <clears throat> this is my daily meditation or my daily morning perk up if you will uh, where I come here uh, at 5.30 most mornings just to sit and visit um, and there you go there's the alarm to tell me it's time to start. <laughs> Turn that off, you see. There you go. Um, and any other noise and distractions that we've got this morning. Um, let's see. There we go. Huh. Anyway, so. Today is Sunday the 13th of September and this grounding is going to be about um, just being open, being open to exactly my point. When things happen um, at random and particularly when there isn't an expectation um, and at this time in our cultural climate nothing is as it seems to be. So what do we do? Where do you find the inner wisdom? Or where do you find wisdom, period? Which is why we're all wired with intuition. The challenge with intuition is your intuition, my intuition, because it's ours, because it belongs to us, just like DNA, is very seldom off or out of whack or not lined up, if we are open. If we're clean and clear with ourselves, if we are in a good space, if we are experiencing a freedom from the ego, which is hard to do in a world where we are so conditioned to be connected to the ego. The ego is the part of ourselves that doesn't live or exist in the present moment. It's a part of ourselves that wants to be attached to things. It's a part of ourselves that wants to be attached to ideals, ideas, um, the notion of things, uh, we're attracted to things, it's all based on ego. Um, so in a world where we are ego-driven, egocentric, um, it becomes a little more challenging and more difficult to meander and to navigate. Um, so what do you do? Find the highest calling you possibly can, starting with yourself. Well, how do you do that in a world where everybody else is not finding their higher calling? This is not about everybody else, this is about you. Um, and once you get clean and clear with what you truly are, your truth, the truth that you are open to and centered with, um, just that inner knowingness, the inner knowingness that you have when something feels right or something doesn't feel quite right. Um, the challenge with it is we want to tell other people it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel quite right. And they may have their own inner intelligence going on, which is for them. Here's the interesting part. What I've known in my experience of paying attention to it through meditation is that there's a phenomenon, an energy, a vibration, if you will, that attracts other people that are on that same wavelength, even without going out and seeking them out. It's odd. Perhaps not odd, but very coincidental, perhaps not very coincidental, perhaps it's just the vibration. But by vibrating with a higher sense of self, with that higher knowledge, with that higher learning, um, we can um, line up with others that feel and think the same way. So what I want you to do right now is to just close your eyes and um, put your feet on the floor and begin to see your body from the f from the feet up. Everything starts from where the lowest point of gravity is. It's where gravity pulls us to. It's where the grounding is. And from there we're able to take our consciousness upward through the body. So begin to scan from the soles of your feet. You might want to press the mound of each big toe down into the floor. You might want to press the outer edge of each foot into the floor. 
You may want to press the center of each heel into the floor. Wherever you're pressing, get a sensation of what that feels like. And by focusing on pressing the specific part of your foot into the floor, you bring yourself to the presence of your body, your physical body. And the challenge is to observe your physical body in its meditation, but not be attached to it, which is hard to do because we, how do you not get attached to your body? Your consciousness, your mind, your thoughts and your visions have the ability to travel outside the physical body as well as being in it. So typically we are anchored to the physical senses of sight, touch, smell, hearing, speaking, taste. So there are all sorts of neurological messages based on the stimulation that we experience through these physical senses. As many physical senses as there are, there are the opposing and opposite or exact twin non-physical. For example, your mouth will salivate when you begin to think of food. Your stomach might gurgle when you think of digesting food. And somebody mentions a car or a train or something that you're familiar with. You might hear the sound that they make when they're not physically around. Someone talks about flowers or a particular flower, gardenia or a rose. You have the ability to smell it even though it's not in front of you. So these are the physical and metaphysical senses that we have available based on the consciousness of the mind. Begin to bring your consciousness to your breath and breathe in. Breathe out. And sit quietly on your mat. Bring your attention to anything and everything that's touching something else. Perhaps it's the back of your thighs against your chair. Perhaps it's your forearms against the arm of the chair. Perhaps it's the backs of your forearms resting on your inner thighs. Bring your mind, your consciousness and the mind to the areas of your body that is physically touching another object. Scan all the way up through your torso, into your chest, down your arms. Up into your collarbone, through your cheeks, your ears, and the top of your head. And center your mind to the center of your forehead or to the palms of your hands. These are very grounding places. And with your mind, your closed eyes, looking through the center of your forehead, I want you to bring your mind's attention to anywhere in your body that's tight or stiff or locked. And as you breathe in, breathe in love, peace, harmony, healing to that space.
and keep on bringing your attention back to your hands and the center of your forehead. Nothing to get. No place to go, just right in this moment. Being completely open. Mind is programmed to keep working, keep bringing visions. Keep talking, keep chattering, keep going, keep breathing. Use your breath to quiet the mind. Stay with whatever you're seeing in your third eye center or feeling in your hands. And if there's no vision in your third eye center or no non-physical feeling in your hands and your arms, just let it go. Just be with what if there is. Doesn't mean you're supposed to. The lesson and the thing you're supposed to get Maybe just that, stillness, emptiness, freeness. This is the time when your mind is quiet focused on your breath and just being still and open that you have the opportunity to, to release let go of Negative feeling, feelings that don't sit right with you, feelings that have you upset, feelings that create negative emotions. You can and you should let them go. These negative feelings and emotions that you should always let go of create negative physical results in the body. Tightening of joints, the tightening of the jaw joint, the clenching of teeth, the holding on of emotions, the holding on of resentments, the holding on of grudges are all negative effects from negative thoughts. Let them go, exhale them out. Know that these emotions, these energies of a negative heavy kind are here as a polar balance to the positive energy, the happy energy, the seated energy, the open energy, the loving energy, joy. The vibration that you seek, the vibration that you want comes from releasing and acknowledging what you don't want. It is not a mere coincidence to identify 
what you don't want. It's easier to do and identify what you do want. And perhaps what you do want is attached to a self-judgment of not deserving. And the self-judgment of not deserving is a lie. A negative story that you've told yourself and believe. Now begin your pathway to breathing in what you do want and see it in your third eye center. Open that up to the vision that you actually see. And it's global peace, understanding and healing that you wish to have. Let the healing, understanding, peace, harmony, begin with you. Have the clearing conversations, have the clearing feelings, have the clearing release of anything that binds you, holds you on to. There's negative, stressful, anxious, depressing, heavy, unwanted thoughts and feelings. And with the grace and power that you were, were created with, call upon that power, the power of all creation, and ask respectfully that they cut the binds that tie you to people, places, situations, stories that are not of your choosing, that are not of your highest good, that are not of the highest good of your development and the development of everybody else. Give thanks that you're able to communicate in this way and give thanks that these tasks that you've requested have been heard and are being taken care of. And I invite you to continue breathing and releasing and pulling in what you want, releasing what you don't want. When you feel complete in your meditation, in your inward desire, in your hands to prayer at heart center, honor yourself. Lift your thumb knuckles up between your eyebrows and honor one another as we bow and say namaste. Hmm. Hmm. It's always good for me to start my day by clearing out the cobwebs of sleep, the beginning of a brand new day, and I usually start my meditation every morning around this time, 5.30. It's the cleanest, clearest, newest, freshest part of every day. The most vulnerable part of every day is somewhere between 1.30 and 4. There's a theory that most souls that leave the earth and travel into spirit do so in the early hours of the morning when it's so peaceful. This has been a wonderful meditation. I'll be back at 11.30 today Eastern Time for my... Um, kickback series with Kevin, which is a live um, broadcast on Facebook, and then it gets uploaded to YouTube. So come on back, and if I don't see you later on, listen, have a great, meaningful Sunday. Do something that matters. Love those that you love, and may they love you back, as I love you. Bye-bye.